The SPAS system is a fantastic tool to allow pilots to carry out a precision approach to an airfield. We currently have precision and non-precision approaches available. The disadvantage with non-precision approaches is that generally you have to make a decision higher up and further away from the airfield. Having an SBAS system allows us to use a GPS-based approach with the satellite-based augmentation that allows us to continue closer to the ground and closer to the airfield. When you're flying in poor weather, having that ability to get closer and lower generally allows you to be much happier about making your approach and gives the pilots a much better chance of success of landing. If we don't have that satellite-based augmentation system, generally we'll have to make a decision further away and higher up. And when the weather is poor, that can often mean that the pilots have to go around, carry out a missed approach procedure, and probably go somewhere else. But the purpose of today really is to test the full end-to-end -end infrastructure of the UK SBAS testbed. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Cranfield. It's taken quite a while to get to this place. Today is the live aviation demo. Up until now, we've deployed the test bed, we've got the signal in space, has been broadcasting for just over a year. But what we haven't done really is test that for a user in the operational environment. So today, using the Saab aircraft, we're actually gonna go fly using the signal and fly an LPV approach into Cranfield to test that full end-to-end -end capability of the test bed. A lot of regional airports don't have the kind of precision approach capability that you see at major airports. They would naturally benefit from SBAS enabled GPS approaches. It also provides capability to fly into remote regional locations. You can imagine in the highlands and islands, sometimes you have an air bridge effectively. That air bridge is server supported by an aeroplane that could be using SBAS enabled procedures. So this trial has enabled us to successfully demonstrate UK SBAS in the aviation domain. For the full duration of the test, we were receiving data from IMOSAT's 305 satellite without any signal dropouts. And actually the results show that the performance exceeded the requirements needed to execute an LPV 200 approach. This trial was unique in the sense that our stakeholders and customers were actually on board the aircraft during the flight trial. And this meant that they were able to experience a number of different approach procedures in the operational environment of flying into Cranfield. The live data shown on screens at the back of the seats, along with looking outside the window, allowed our stakeholders to physically see the real benefit SBAS can bring to the aviation use case by allowing pilots to get lower and closer to the ground in bad weather. The next step now is to understand how UK SBAS can provide real benefit in other user domains such as maritime, road, rail, and unmanned aerial vehicle sectors and we'll be conducting some further work to help shape if and how UK SBAS can provide real safety and performance benefits in these areas. It will be an advantage to all aircraft users in the UK.